It's Wednesday, March 12th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. Barack Obama has won the Mississippi primary by a wide margin, thanks in large part to strong support from African Americans. But Ben Smith and David Paul Kuhn report that racial tensions have overshadowed other campaign issues after a remark by the Democrats' 1984 vice presidential nominee, Geraldine Ferraro, who told the newspaper that if Obama were a white man or a woman of any race, he wouldn't be in his position. After Ferraro, a Clinton supporter was roundly criticized by the Obama campaign, she hit back by saying they were attacking her because she is white. Ferraro has a history of such comments. In 1988, she told the Washington Post that if Jesse Jackson were not black, he wouldn't be in the race. And she recently said on Fox News that if she were a man, she wouldn't have been on the Democratic ticket. So just to reiterate, if you are a white Jesse Jackson, a male Geraldine Ferraro, or a white female Barack Obama, I hate to tell you, but you don't really have a shot at national office. Not because you're not qualified, don't get me wrong, but mainly because you only exist in the bizarre world of Geraldine Ferraro. And listen, Representative Ferraro, I know from personal experience just how hard it is to be a white person in this uh, white person's world. But by saying that Obama and Jackson only made it this far because they're black, it shatters the dreams of thousands, dare I say millions, of white children of someday, somehow, seeing a white president in the White House. Next, AP reports that Larry Craig is asking the Minnesota Court of Appeals to reverse a lower court's decision to maintain his original guilty plea for soliciting gay sex in a public men's room. Craig's attorney also argues that his behavior in the bathroom was consistent with the conduct of an innocent person waiting for one of the occupied stalls to clear. I'm just glad that the finer points of men's room etiquette will finally be decided once and for all where they belong in court. Finally, Mitt Romney tells Sean Hannity that of course he would be honored to serve as the vice presidential nominee, and that bitterness with McCain, well, it's in the past. The former Massachusetts governor also mocked Obama and Clinton, saying that when it comes to national security, John McCain is the big dog and they are the chihuahuas. You may remember a few months ago, Romney asked a group of youngsters in Florida, who let the dogs out? Who? Who? If he is the vice presidential nominee, I hope he can look forward to many more dog references, but maybe ones that aren't so obvious. For example, in response to a question about global poverty, he could quote the band Temple of the Dog. I don't mind stealing bread from the mouths of decadence. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash playbook. Slash playbook, in fact, for more stories. And don't worry, even if your bizarro self can't run for president, hopefully they can take some solace in the bizarro version of this show. Right here on Playbook TV. Because it's bizarro.